Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of RGM Garage. On this episode I'm going to show you how to install a USB charger onto your motorcycle. So this here, it's a USB charger you can plug onto your motorcycle battery and you can easily use it to charge your mobile phone or your um, sat-nav device. I use my mobile phone as a sat-nav so I just plug my mobile phone. To that, I just use this little thing in here with a cable and um, you can find this on Amazon or eBay. I'll link below one of these little things and in my case I removed this from my Hayabusa and I'm gonna retrofit it back on this GSX-R1000. I've been using uh, this GSX-R more and more to do ride outs and I find myself lost at times so I have this uh, RAM, um, RAM mount grip, I'll link it below as well um, so you can find it. I can tell you this is really 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 sturdy. I, have, I had my accident on the Booza, I had this mounted to the bike, I had my phone playing music at the time and the phone stayed there, kept playing, um, so it's really really trustworthy. So now I'm finding the need of having a charger point for my phone as I'm using it for sat-nav purposes. So I'm gonna fit this little boy. In general they come with the connections already. All you gotta do is unscrew the battery bolts, place them. Obviously black is the negative, red is the positive and also has the um, fuse mount so in case of getting water or something happens to it you won't blow your whole bike away you only blow the fuse and that is the safest way to do it if the charger that you would buy then came with the crimp connectors you would be using something like this mine is in better days but it's only the box is broken uh, the tools are still very useful and i use it all the time so this is a crimper, a crimper pliers, and um, also as a stripper wires. You would pinch the cable, and in the same action, you would strip it. So this is a very, very useful tool. Um, I'll put a link below for this tool um, and usually comes with few connectors in it already uh, it has a crimper pliers and a stripper pliers so find it below so now let's jump straight in and show you step by step what you need to do as you can see this comes with a fairly long piece of wire so you can connect, connect it to your battery, which is usually um, under your seat. It's usually found under your seat. And you can place the actual charger, which has a little cup, so it's waterproof. Um, you can place it somewhere 
close to your handlebars. So the first thing you want to do is spend a few minutes and find a suitable location for this where you won't be getting any water and you won't be catching on the steering. So for what I seen, I think I'm gonna place it somewhere in here. So when I'm driving along, if it's a rainy day, I'm not gonna get it wet um, as if you plug a charger, it will be open. So you can plug your USB charger. Um, so I'm gonna find somewhere, su somewhere suitable to, to fit it under my windscreen. After some consideration, I've decided to mount the big box down in this place. And this way is protected from any rain and I can simply use a little bit of um, double-sided tape on this area. I can glue it to here and I can just put a zip tie around it and that way you won't go anywhere. Something that you should also consider is the way that you're gonna route your cables. In my case, I'm gonna follow the original um, wiring loom, which runs down here behind this or underneath this air intake and runs down and along this side fairing and goes into the inside of the, underneath the, the fuel tank. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use some double-sided tape and a couple of zip ties and I'm gonna attach this little box to the desired place. So now that I know which route my cabling is going to take, down this area and up there, it's time to take the um, seat, lift the tank and take this panel. So even without having to completely take apart the side panel, which goes in there, I can just pull it out of the way and you can easily see the original harness where it runs. Down here, down in there, and there is where it goes under the frame, onto there, and from there runs down into the battery. A good way of keeping the cabling uh, tucked away where it should be is to use tiny zip ties and attach it onto the existing uh, wiring.
Once you have your cabling all routed and in the correct location, I just want to put this back down. Just make sure it's not going to get scratched. It's going to get out the way. And you want to connect it. And very easily, you have the positive and negative. You're just going to use a screwdriver, as you can see, very easily. You just and do this and undo the positive and you're gonna I just pass the bolt through the eyelids, eyelids, and, and connect it back again. Very simply, just like this. So now that you have everything connected, uh, you want to put everything back into place, into your original place. Just bolt your fairings back in if you have taken any out. Put your seat back into place, tighten up your tank back into its original fastenings. But before you do any of that, you want to make sure that the plug is working, everything is working as it should. So grab yourself a charging cable, plug it into the socket, just like so. Grab yourself your phone or whatever device you intend to plug into it and simply plug it in. So now that you have tested everything, you are absolutely sure that everything is going to work. All is left to do is put everything back into its original place. So you can start by however you want. I just going to crack on and get it done. So there you have it guys, this is how easy it is to install a USB charger into your motorcycle. This applies to any motorcycle, the process might be slightly different in whichever motorcycle you have, but it's the same, um, same steps forward. Just have to find a suitable place to mount the little connection box and route the wire make sure you don't pinch it attach it to the original wiring and that is the safest place to route your wire because if the manufacturer chose it to um, take it that way for sure they're not wrong um, and just plug it into your battery 
and it's easy as that plug and play um, so remember if you like this video if you think it was useful for you drop a thumbs up if you're new to the channel consider subscribing there's plenty of other videos on how to do little bits and bobs on your motorbike and uh, there's a big project that I've been taking um, uh, b going to taking forward in the next few weeks with my Suzuki Hayabusa so stay tuned with that um, remember if you can't do it yourself take it easy ride safe and I see you next time